let us uh, take up this ringe kutta method so in this method the changes in dependent variables are calculated from the in this method the changes in the dip, uh, dependent variables that is uh, delta is calculated from the set of the formula set of formula which are derived derived using the approximation uh, by using the taylor series expansion by using taylor series expansion so the formula for runge kutta method for fourth order approximation fourth order approximation for the solution of two simultaneous equations for a solution of two simultaneous equations are given by dx by dt is equal to f of f, f of x of x y t x y t are the variables and dy of dt dy by dt is equal to f y of x comma y comma t a where f uh, x y t are the uh, dependent variables dependent variables so here if you this is the mathematical solution okay this is with this is all mathematics so starting from the initial values we will consider with the numerical so this is one of the numerical solution so we will start with the initial values x not y not t not and step size as h you might have studied this runge kutta method in your mathematics so step size as h the updated values are so if you want to calculate the next values x1 x2 x3 like that so x1 is equal to this is a mathematics so x1 is equal to x not uh, initial value plus 1 by 6 times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k3 and y1 is equal to y not plus 1 by 6 L1 plus 2L2 plus 2L3 plus L4. So this is the mathematical equations for finding the dependent variables x comma y comma t. Similarly, where k is equal to uh, here we have used the k1, k2, k3, k4, L1, L2, L3, L4. See, uh, these are the two equations. Uh, from these two equations, we can find out the next values of the uh, dependent variables dependent variables so k1 is equal to where k1 is the f of x of x not y not t not into h so it is a function of k1 is a function of initial values substituted initial values to the function into the step size h and k2 is equal to k2 is equal to f of x not plus k1 by 2 comma y not plus l1 by 2 comma t not plus h by 2 into h so this is k2 is equal to k3 is equal to f of x f of x x not plus k2 by 2 comma y not plus l2 by 2 comma t not plus h by 2 into uh, all uh, multiplied by a uh, step size h similarly k4 is equal to f of x x not plus k3 comma y not plus l3 comma t not plus h into h so similarly l1 l2 l3 are considered so l1 is uh, fy it is a function with respect to the uh, second function that is f of y f of y it is for the initial conditions x not y not t not into h l2 is equal to fy x not plus k1 by 2 comma y not plus l1 by 2 comma t not plus h by 2 into h l3 is fy into fy of x not plus k2 by 2 comma y not plus l2 by 2 comma t not plus h by 2 into h yes. similarly last l4 y of f of y Uh, x not plus k3 plus comma y not plus l3 comma t not plus h into h so these are the functions constants these are the constants that is uh, in order to find out the next iterative value next iterative value for with respect to the change in the uh, time we can find out the next uh, these are the initial values these are the initial values x not y not t not next next value if you want to update So x1 is equal to this is the formula x not plus 1 by 6 times k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4. Similarly for y1, 
वाई नॉट प्लस वन बाय सिक्स टाइम्स एल वन प्लस टू एल टू प्लस टू एल थ्री प्लस एल फोर सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू अप्लाय दिस कॉन्सेप्ट टू दि स्विंग इक्वेशन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट टू दिस स्विंग इक्वेशन दि फर्स्ट ऑर्डर टू फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेश टू बी सॉल्व so the first order differential equations to be solved to obtain the solution of the swing equation or uh, we know d delta by dt is equal to omega d delta by dt is equal to omega so d omega d omega by dt is equal to we know uh, d delta by dt is equal to omega so if you substitute omega here this will be d square delta by dt square d square delta by dt square which is uh, we know this swing equation it is m into d square delta by dt is equal to pa this is the uh, swing equation or this is equal to pm minus pe where pm is the mechanical power p is the electrical power output pa is the acceleration power which is given by difference between the mechanical input power and the electrical output power so here our variables are delta this rotor angle delta and the uh, speed uh, angular velocity speed and the time and the time so these uh, these three are the dependent variables delta omega and t so let us consider the initial values for this delta not omega not t not let us consider the initial values as delta not omega not t not and the step size of delta t so in mathematics uh, mathematical formulation we have considered step size as h uh, let us consider here the step size as delta t so using these conditions and applying in the runge kutta method formula That is, x1 is equal to x0 plus 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. So in place of x y t, x y t we have delta omega t. In place of x y t we have in the swing equation we have delta omega and t. So substituting these equations, uh, k1 is equal to substituting these equations. so here you can observe uh, delta 1 is equal to in place of x we have delta in place of y we have omega in place of uh, t here also same t so in order to find out delta 1 changes in the delta 1 delta 1 is equal to delta not plus 1 by 6 times k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 same formula same formula similarly omega 1 is equal to omega not plus 1 by 6 times i1 plus 2 i2 plus 2 i sorry it is l1 l1 plus 2 l2 plus 2 l3 plus l4 so this is a formula used for the solution of this swing equations so here these constants k1 k2 k3 k4 l1 l2 l3 l4 so these constants are given by so k1 k1 is a function of Uh, initial values omega not with res into multiplied by the step size omega not into step size omega not into delta t l1 is l1 is accelerating power pa divided by m into dt so this accelerating power pa is equal to mechanical power minus electrical power mechanical power is uh, pm electrical power is pm uh, p mag sin delta delta not sin delta not so pm minus p max sin delta not divided by m into delta t will give us the constant l1 similarly k2 is equal to omega not plus l1 by 2 l1 by 2 times of delta t l1 by 2 times of delta t l2 is pm minus p max sin delta not plus k1 by 2 k1 by 2 divided by m Into delta t, k3 is 
omega naught plus L2 by 2 into delta 3. L3, L3 constant, it is Pm minus uh, P max sin delta naught plus K2 by 2 divided by M into delta T. K4, omega naught plus L3 into delta T. L4 is Pm minus P max sin delta naught plus K3 divided by M into delta T. So these are the equations. This is a method, uh, method which gives the numerical solution to the swing equation. So we can find out the changes in the delta with respect to the time by using this equation. Delta 1 is equal to delta naught plus 1 by 6 times K1 plus 2K2 plus 2K3 plus K4. Similarly, we can find out the changes in the angular velocity of the rotor. Omega 1 is equal to omega naught plus 1 by 6 times L1 plus 2L2 plus 2L3 plus L4. So these equations you have to directly remember. There are no proofs, uh, proof for these equations for your syllabus. Just this is a, one of the numerical method to find the solution to this string equation. In order to find, that is, we need to find out the changes in the rotor angle with respect to the changes in the time. So this is about the Runge-Kutta method.